Hello everybody and welcome back to the let's play of my Zoo Tycoon uh, scenarios. Um, so today we're doing the Holiday Tree Farm scenario, which is a beginner scenario. Um, it's the last beginner purely Zoo Tycoon scenarios. Uh, the rest of them are like intermediates or the Dinosaur Digs or the Marine Mania scenarios. Um, anyway, this is... Um, we have 12 months to do this scenario, and we also start with $25,000. It says here that an enterprising young entrepreneur has opened a holiday tree farm near your home. He has heard of your initial successes in creating zoos. He hopes that a few exhibits with appropriate animals will serve as a draw for customers to his holiday tree farm. You have been given an expanse of hilly coniferous land, covered with many pine trees. He asks that you build exhibits for moose, arctic wolves, and grizzly bears. He also alludes that if you are able to build an exhibit for a reindeer, there may be an extra incentive for you. <coughs> okay. So we've got 12 months to achieve a zoo rating of 70. Easy. Animal happiness of 90. Easy. Exhibit, suitabil exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for a moose exhibit, an arctic wolf, and a grizzly bear exhibit. But we are going to do the reindeer exhibits as well. So... We only start with $25,000, which is not a lot. Um, but there are a lot of trees, so... I'm very tempted to just destroy all these trees. How much would that make? A fortune. Let's just destroy everything. And start... with nothing. Okay. So now we start with $85,664. And we can actually build dinosaur digs and marine mania stuff, so I think this, even though it's a Zoo Tycoon scenario, uh, does technically come with the complete collection if you have the expansion packs. Because um, I'm playing the complete collection, I have the expansion packs installed. Anyway, let's just build some paths and our first exhibit, which will be the... Well, we do have a lot of snow, but we also have a lot of um, coniferous. So let's just build the grizzly bear exhibits, first of all. Hmm. I'm now starting to think it might have been better if I kept those trees, but oh well. Because obviously we're going to need to buy a load of trees for the bear. Um, not a massive issue. We can also get a load of other animals if we really wanted to. Um, we're not simply limited to those animals, those are just the animals that we have to have. Um, okay, so if I remember correctly, the, the grizzly bear needs some deciduous. Needs some fresh water. And I think that's everything. So give it some rocks. Again, this isn't a very difficult scenario because it's like one of the earlier ones. Um, later on, the scenarios do get more difficult, uh, which is to be expected. Excellence in exhibit design. That doesn't do anything in terms of money, it might actually increase the zoo rating, I'm not sure. But it is always nice to have. Uh, except it's not big enough. Oh. Well, that changes things. Oh. Okay. So let's make the exhibit a bit bigger. And that also means that we'll have to buy more Terran and um, more, we'll have to get more Terran and um, more trees whoops the exhibit is now big enough oops, too many trees that's now fine, more rocks Let's get a zookeeper. 
and a well we can do masons and tour guide later so more deciduous not enough coniferous and probably need some fresh water as well in fact in fact it does and more deciduous okay Arr. again it's just like a balancing act it's just getting it right square by square and more hills so hide the trees and let's just increase the hills and there we go excellence in exhibit design gold plaque fifteen thousand um, dollars I think that possibly also increases the uh, zoo rating and there we go, exhibit visibility 100. Put the trees back in. Okay, next up. Um, yeah, see, we've already got the zoo rating up. I guess happiness. We can get some stuff for the guests. Even though the bears are making a lot of noise, they're apparently really happy. Um, I thought they were unhappy because they're making a lot of noise, but it turns out they're actually happy. That's just the noise that the bears make when they're doing things. Anyway, let's build carousel. Um, let's build... Restaurant over here. Uh huh. And build the animal theatre over here. Okay. And just build like a little bit of a path there. Build some benches. Just makes this just makes the zoo look a bit neater and a bit more scenic. Uh, let's build a sign. Move these guests out of the way, ideally. And people are already going into the restaurant. Increase the animals there. Increase prices on stuff. People are using the carousel, which is nice. Change the colours of the carousel. And... Build a path around the carousel. And we're going to want to... Whoops. Level that out. Uh, let's get a maintenance and a tour guide. The good thing is, is by only using restaurants and not using things like burger stands, pizza stands, etc., you don't actually need bins because all the food goes from the restaurant. So there's no waste in that respect. So you don't need any bins. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, but the restaurant actually serves its purpose of kind of like the restaurant is actually really good because it, it solves hunger, energy, bladder and um, thirst of guests. It literally fixes everything apart from like their overall happiness which can be fixed with things like carousels and uh, animal theatres. It's really weird when you think about it. Um, but restaurants are incredibly useful. Like a good restaurant can make several thousand in a month. Um, profit, that is. I mean, this one's this one's only been going for a bit. It's already made 332 this month. And I don't think the upkeep's that high. I don't know what the upkeep is, but... And carousels and animal theatres, again, are ridiculously profitable. So, let's get our second exhibit in. Uh, this isn't a difficult scenario. You only actually need three exhibits and you can do it. 
but we will build the reindeer exhibits. But let's build the moose exhibit next, I think. And we'll build it over here. So let's build some path around here. Huh. How are we doing for space? We do have a lot of space. The only problem is, is there's a lot of mountain over here. And flat... Actual flat land is quite... Limited, but... We have enough. So let's build moose over here. Uh, six by... Hmm. Let's just go... 11, 12, 13, 6 by 14, which is plenty big enough, or at least it should be, for a male and a female moose. Just check that it's actually big enough. It is big enough. Um, okay, fresh water. Deciduous. They still want some coniferous, apparently. Uh, a bit more fresh water. Get some grass. And some trees and more rocks. They want weeping willow tree. Uh, for moose. And because we've destroyed all those trees, which, again, environmentalist, I know. Um, we do have a lot of money. Um, and more rocks. And that is a suitability 98. So, yep. There we go. Guest happiness 87, animal happiness 89, because the mooses will eventually become happier as they adopt to their... Because the thing is, when you first get the animals, they're unhappy, and then you build up the exhibit and they kind of become happy over time. Um, zero rating 79. It's now gone up to 80. Hmm. That's interesting. Apparently the restaurant upkeep itself... What? I think it's two hundred and fifty dollars a month in upkeep. Yeah, see, I can't understand that. I think that's two hundred and fifty dollars a month in upkeep, but then I can't work it out to be honest. <laughs> um, I mean, it's making a bit of profit. It's apparently not actually making that much profit, but this animal theatre is making a, t a load of profit, as is the carousel. Um, I can't quite work that out, to be honest. Anyway, let's get the um, Arctic Wolf exhibit. Um... So that is 12 by 10, so that's plenty big enough. Probably going to have to flatten this out for the wolf, because I can't imagine the wolf likes hills. Um... Yeah. 
What the heck? Oh, shit. I've accidentally built the exhibit around some guests. That's why you're hearing a load of screaming. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to flatten this out because uh, the wolves... Wolves do not like flats. I mean, they don't like the hills. So, whoops. Let's just, let's just level this out. It looks rather ridiculous because, I mean, obviously it's like, oh yeah, flat hill and then just vertical cliff. Which, uh, vertical cliff's just kind of made of, like, brick or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, it doesn't require any hills, so that is fine. It does need more snow. Because obviously it looks in the Arctic. Let's rotate it around so we can actually see what we're doing. In fact, hide the trees, and there we go. We've got a complete view. So we need some fresh water. Um. And... It says there's too much snow, but it doesn't tell me what it wants instead. Maybe it's... Ah, grey stone. It didn't tell me that earlier. Ah, now it does. Stupid zookeeper. It says like there's too much grace too much snow, but it doesn't tell me what it wants instead. Anyway, rocks. We're gonna need some snowy rocks. And let's put some snowy rock formations. And some more rocks. It really likes the rocks. There we go. And not enough shelters. It doesn't require any trees. A bit unusual, but I think that's quite common with these um, snow animals, to be honest. Um, there we go, put the shelter in, and boom. That's complete. And it says it wants more animals of the same type. So let's get another female in there. And that's complaining that the exhibit's not big enough. Well... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Like... Just... Just deal with it, okay? Like... Just deal with it. I'm not building you another exhibit. I might do later on, but... For now, just deal with it, okay? Anyway, um, that is technically every goal in this scenario completed. Um, but, we do have a lot of money left over, so let's build a reindeer exhibit. And we'll build it over here. Um, I mean, you do have 12 months left, and it's, we've, we've only used three actual months. Um, because it's only April now, so. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's only April now, and we have actually technically done the scenario. Uh, this is actually a very big exhibit, to be honest, so... Well, let's just go with the reindeer, because I think reindeer actually... You do need quite a lot to keep them happy. Like, quite a lot of animals. And the thing is... This is why he wants the reindeer, because... Uh, it's a holiday tree farm, and obviously holiday tree is Christmas tree, uh, and obviously it wants reindeer. Anyway, not enough grass and grey stone and snow. Apparently 
I don't want any fresh water. Oops. Again, the good thing is, is that I don't have to pay for this until I'm actually done with it. So I can just kind of play around with it and then accept it when it's done. So, just keep playing around with it. Doesn't like any... does not like water. Okay. Seems to be happy with that. So let's get the rocks in here. For creating a suitable exhibit for reindeer, you are now able to purchase the holiday tree for use in this scenario. Which is useful, because the reindeer really likes the holiday tree. Um, although it does look very ridiculous just having a load of Christmas trees in your actual like zoo exhibit. Especially when they have a load of presents underneath them. Oh well. Uh, not enough shelters and more animals of the same type. What the heck? Why are they complaining? Ah, uh, I mean it's because... Why are they complaining? They've literally just become unhappy because I built an... Because I got another animal. Even though that's apparently what they wanted. This makes no sense. Uh, we do need some shelters, though. Like, the, it's the zookeeper saying they want more animals of the same... Now they're happy. What the heck? And now they're happy. Okay. So we have... Male, female, female, male... Female. Female. So we have... We only have two males. Yeah, that's, that's quite unusual. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six reindeer and only two males. Oh, well. So it's supposed to be 86. It's a bit weird. So. The reindeer aren't happy. Uh, but when they become happy. Then. Everything should be fine. Let's get another zookeeper and another tour guide. In fact... Uh, okay, let's get rid of the dinosaur digs related stuff. And let's get rid of the marine mania related stuff. So we just want zoo tycoon related stuff. Uh, we don't need shelters. Uh, we don't need animal enrichment, because we don't need any toys. We don't need foliage. Don't need endangered animals. Um, let's just get an animal house. Increase. Make the, animal, uh, make the guests a bit happier, rather. But, I mean, technically we have actually done everything we need to do. Uh, and this... This restaurant's actually making... Okay, apparently it's paying $500 a month in upkeep. But it's making... $581 each month... Just in profit. I think that's how it works? Or maybe that's this month. As opposed to an average. Either way... These three things are making a fortune in... Well, not a fortune, but they're making good profit. Um, if we looked at April, um, 
we made about two thousand dollars in profit. Um, let's just raise this up to thirty dollars. Could actually build another exhibit. To be fair, excuse me. Um, because otherwise it's just sitting. It's just literally sitting around waiting for stuff to for stuff to happen. That'll be done in seven days. I mean, we may as well build another exhibit. Um, it would be cheapest to do some kind of coniferous exhibit. Siberian tiger wouldn't be a bad bet. So let's do Siberian tiger. Okay, build some more paths, and then build a Siberian Tiger exhibit, which will be 11 by uh, 8, 11 by 10, so it should be plenty big enough. And also, let's build path here. Can we fit a fountain in there? No. Okay. Can't really fit anything in there. Let's build some statues. Avery now available. I am aware that we are a bit low on cash at the moment, so let's just sit back and wait for the money to pile in. Um... Just also build like some more sort of scenery. Well, okay, let's build a map. Um, this is just purely scenic stuff. Like, I think this makes. I think it might increase zoo rating, but it def it seems to make the guests happier. Um, which is why I'm doing it. Yeah, you can see these guests here are kind of using that map. So they seem to be happier if they have a map for some... Well, it's not for some reason. It does make a lot of sense, to be honest. And also having it there, it's kind of like the first thing you see, so it kind of does make sense. Let's put um, exhibit sign. Let's put it here, and then build some path, like here, and then we put another, like, put a fountain here. It just literally makes the guests happier and kind of just increases the zoo rating. Um, it makes the zoo look nicer. It's not needed for this scenario. I'm just doing it because uh, I'm basically waiting for money to pile in and just a bit not bored, but kind of like it's something to do, if that makes sense. Um, let's put in a can't fit fountain. Let's put in an elephant statue and water well for some reason. Guests happiness 93, animal happiness 98, zero rating 84. Uh, and we're going to need a sign outside here, another sign here. Sign here. Ooh, okay, there's a lot of poo going on there. But I think we're okay for now. Like, it's not excessive, so I think two zookeepers is okay. But we might actually want to get another one for this exhibit. So let's just get another zookeeper. 
and actually we've got the aviary so let's build the aviary no maintenance sorry no upkeep costs on that it just simply makes the guests happier 93 guest happiness and 98 animal happiness they're rating 84 um you have been given the blue ribbon award quality animal care for providing the hand providing uh, providing the house and quality care and tri whatever I, c I, c I can read it's just uh, stumbling over my words the main thing is we get five thousand dollars just for basically not really doing anything like I don't know how I got that. Like, I don't know what the actual conditions are for that goal. Hmm. Not entirely sure how you increase zoo rating, other than have high guest happiness and high animal happiness. A moose has apparently given birth. Um. Yeah, zoo ha zoo ratings a bit unusual. I don't know how you. I mean, I suppose, like, more exhibits would help. Hmm. Okay. Last month, uh, we made... Well, we spent $14,000 on one-time-only type stuff, which means that we made about $3,000 profit... Anyway, let's start getting the um, the tigers. We'll need a bit of hills. Uh, they need Chinese fir tree, grey stone, and snow. Highest customer satisfaction for making guest visits to your zoo memorable. Award comes for $25,000. Okay, so that is more than enough money to build the uh, tiger exhibit. Which is very nice. The thing is, is because we have plenty of money and we can get extra animals, I'm probably going to record the whole video for this rather than just cut off. Because there is actually stuff for me to do. With the forest zoo, the reason that I cut off was simply because there was literally nothing we could do. We couldn't get any animals. And we'd beaten the scenario easily. And there was just nothing to do. Anyway. But with this one, there is kind of stuff to do. Like, we can still get extra exhibits. Uh, not enough greystone, too much coniferous. I imagine there's probably also too much snow as well. No, apparently there isn't. Maybe some more fresh water? No. Okay, I just got... Whoopsie. More foliage and more rocks. So, Chinese fir tree and rocks. And we do have plenty of money left over, which is very nice. Thanks to that 25,000... Dollars grand. Just out of interest, are they like snowy rocks? They do not. Just regular rocks. Okay, and Chinese fir tree. Like this. I mean, we could research the rock cave, which would make the animals happier. So let's do that. There we go. Get rid of that. That was a mistake. Build more trees. And there we go. Exhibit suitability 94. Uh, guest happiness 95. Zoo rating 84. Animal happiness 98. So the guests are really happy with this zoo. Um, which is nice. Like... I'm happy that they're happy, to be honest. So let's just build some scenery. Um, 
can't feel any fountains or anything in there, but... I feel like we should fit something in there, but I can't think what. Some benches. Um, 96 happiness. They really, really like this zoo. I think it's because of all... I think the aviary is very popular. They like the restaurant. They like the animal theatre, because the animal theatre increases their happiness, I think. Well, it should do. The car sale increases their happiness. I think the tour guides... The tour guides help. Um, the animals are happy, which makes the guests happy. Um, and the guests like scenery. Um, okay, we've used up... We have used up half of our time, more or less. Guest happiness 95. We have used up half of our time. We have easily won the scenario. But since we do have loads of cash, Rock Cave now available. Oops. Six months left to complete the scenario. Rock Cave now available, so... Let's go with... Animal care. We don't need enrichment. Uh, let's go staff education as well. Um, let's just build another exhibit. Let's build it over here. Um, hide the building. Actually, no, not hide the building. That was a mistake. Now hide the building. And extend the path. Okay, what we're going to build? Well, we've kind of. Hmm. Hmm. I guess happiness ninety four. Um. Hmm. A lot of people vomiting all over the place is a bit weird. Um, I kind of want to do something that we haven't already done. Like, ever. In any scenario. Um... I'm not sure. Have we done leopard before? I don't know. I mean, we could just build like a lion exhibit. Let's just do a lion exhibit. I mean, it's not going to be our last exhibit, so we can always just build more, more exhibits. Nine by. 11, and we do save a bit of money because we're using the, we're using the uh, zoo boundary wall. Uh, let's build the sign. And that's fine. Okay, lion male, lion female. They do need a rock cave. They also need some toys. And they need savannah and fresh water. I think they need some sand. Yep, some sand. Some dirt. And savannah. You can see the lion is actually like kind of sunbathing on the rock, so they do use the rock, like the toys. Um, but they've become unhappy. A bit weird because they become unhappy if you give them too many. Uh, a bit more. D no, not more dirt. Not more sand. Maybe more fresh water? No. Seems to be happy as he is. Uh, not the savannah, too much sand. Oh, interesting. 
Not enough dirt, too much fresh water. Uh, more foliage and more rocks. Umbrella thorn, acacia tree, and rocks. Nutritional animal food now available. So that kind of just increases overall, like, zoo rating and happiness and everything. I think it might also mean that the food is cheaper, which might save money in the long run. Maintenance worker training one, able to clean trash more efficiently. Um. Okay. Let's cancel that, actually. The thing is, as well, is because we put a bit of money in there, um, hmm, it does actually, like, by cancelling it and then restarting it, you don't have to actually pay any more um, than you would do normally. It's not like, oh, you've stopped funding it. Um, you have to restart it completely from scratch. No, it, it does kind of like save your progress, if that makes sense. Anyway. Um, we're s Guest happiness 96. Zero rating, zero rating has increased. I think, basically, zero rating relies upon like things like animal happiness, um, staff education, animal care, research, research, conservation, and also just like how varied your zoo is. So like the more exhibits, the better the zoo rating. So in that respect, zoo rating is probably the hardest to increase. Guess having this 97, that is insanely high. Okay, let's just save the game as holiday tree zoo. And we have basically yeah, we have won the scenario. It is now August. Um, so we've got August, September, October, November, December. That is five months left to go. Uh, other than just expanding and building exhibits, I don't have anything planned for this zoo. Um, so I could end the video here. Um... I'm not sure. I mean, I might, I might build one more exhibit. I don't know how much money we have. Oh, well, no, how much money we have? I don't know how much money we need. Um, because I don't know how much roughly animals exhibits cost. Tempted to get a camel exhibit. Um, although. Don't think animal. I don't think the guests really like the camels. It's not that they don't like them; they're just not massively popular. Um, for some reason, like guests seem to prefer. I think guests really like lions, so having the lions near the entrance is a good idea. I think guests like grizzly bears as well, so maybe having a camel exhibit isn't such a bad thing. Could build an exhibit here actually and save a lot of money on uh, fencing and construction and stuff. In fact, we might just do that. It also quite it's quite mountainous over here, so we might actually build maybe like a highland exhibit. Could get a llama. Um. Could get a mountain lion. Let's build a mountain lion exhibit. Why the hell not? Okay, just use the natural boundary of the zoo. And then... 
build a mountain lion exhibit. Probably going to need even more hills than that. Yeah, it needs much more hills and cliffs and stuff. Really likes the hills, this animal does. Okay, that's apparently fine for the hills. Oh wait, no, it still needs more. Damn. This is expensive. Okay, that's enough hills. Apparently. Um, needs... Not enough grass and fresh water. The current rate, we're not going to have enough money to afford this. Hmm. There's no flat land to build the fresh water. Ah, there's, there's, there's some here. Is that enough? Too much snow, too much coniferous. Not, I think it was grey stone it wanted. Is it better be worth it? Something tells me it won't. Too much snow, too much coniferous. Not enough brown stone, not enough grey stone. God, it just wants everything, really. Oh, bollocks. Didn't mean to accept that. <sighs> Not enough brown stone, too much everything. I bet this zoo, when the guy thought, hey, I'll hire I'll hire this guy to build my zoo, I bet he wasn't expecting a mountain lion. He's probably expecting, like, a few exhibits, like, he's probably expecting just, just this, just these four. These, he's probably expecting these four and maybe, like, another one, maybe, like, some lions. He probably wasn't expecting Mountain Lion and Siberian Tiger. Anyway, not enough brown stone and still too much snow. Wow, this is costing me a fortune. Does not like snow at all. But it really likes this stone. Not enough brown stone, too much coniferous. Not enough brown stone, too much coniferous. Is Mountain Lion's not happy at all? We don't have enough money to afford this. Um, so I'm going to have to wait for the money to pile in before we actually click accept. Not enough Greystone, too much Coniferous. Other tip. Do the Terran before you do the trees. Bef sorry, before you do the... Um, like, like, do the um, Terran before you do like the hills and stuff. Not enough grey stone, too much coniferous. God damn it. This is insane. This would really better be worth it. Let's hide the trees and hide the pedestrians and hide the buildings. Just make my life a bit easier. Okay, it's complaining. Right. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. By clicking right mouse button, I accidentally um, cancelled the action. So, now I've got to do it all over again. I'm sorry about this. Okay, let's accept that. Too much snow, not enough brown stone, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know you're not happy, you mountain lion. This was a mistake, okay? You're really, really fussy. Oops. Hmm. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, rule one of Zoo Tycoon. Never listen to me. Rule two. Never buy mountain lions. They're expensive as fuck. <laughs> not enough brown stone, not enough grey stone. Oh, jeez. It's just whining. It's like mad. Not enough grey stone, too much snow, too much coniferous. Not enough grey stone, too much snow, too much coniferous. Jeez. Too much coniferous, not enough brown stone, not enough grey stone. Brown stone, too much coniferous. Okay, now I just need to wait for the money to actually come in. And that is apparently the Terran that it fucking wants. Jeez. So let's just wait for the money to actually come in. Zero rating 85, animal happiness 94. Animal happiness is actually going down because of this animal. That's the only reason. The guest happiness is still fine. Zero rating is still fine. Oh my god. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if we got a mountain lion? Yeah, that was a big mistake. Oh, God. Well, I hope this has been mildly amusing for you. Um, watching me fail with a mountain lion. Excuse me. Right. Yeah, there we go. The zoo is low on money. An emergency funding drive has raised an additional ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I think that happens in every scenario. Uh, essentially, when you're very, very low on money, you just get ten thousand dollars as a one-time only type thing. And the sage bush and shelters. Uh, let's just see. We can't actually fit a shelter in there. We can't fit a rock... We can't fit a rock cave. Unfortunately. Well, now we can. It needs more rocks and more foliage. So let's get the sage bush. stuff, put, unhide the stuff and put it back in. And more rocks. And it probably wants snowy rocks. No. It wants the, uh, the highland rocks. Or oh, actually just the regular rocks. Because it's highland, it's probably going to want a lot of these things. Okay, it took a long time, but it's finally a suitable exhibit. Zoo is rating 93. The zoo rating on the animal... Guest happiness, 95. Once the mountain lion becomes happier, 
The guests will see that it's happy, they'll become happier, the animal happiness rating will increase, and the zoo rating will increase. Uh, it will slowly become happy. Hopefully. Uh, not that that's really an issue, because we still won this scenario easily. And we have three months left. Um, animal antibiotics now available. Reduced food cost. Um, takes a month and a bit. Wow. Slowly becoming happier. Very slowly. This, this aviary is really popular. Um, the restaurant's making a fortune. That's making a lot of money. Everything's doing well. Just need this mountain lion to become a bit happier. <coughs> wow. The reindeer exhibit is really popular. Uh, yeah, the reindeer exhibit is really, really popular. For whatever reason. Probably because they're like, oh, reindeer! Like, holy shit, it's a reindeer! Okay, how can I make this mountain lion happy? Also, no, it's, not, it's slowly becoming happier. Interestingly, it doesn't want a female mountain lion. But then again, mountain lions are apparently solitary. In this game. So solitary they don't even care about having children or a family. Um, apparently there's an ill moose. So hopefully the zookeeper's gonna uh, fix that. Going to exhibit three. Exhibit three is moose. So zookeeper's going to the exhibit for the moose and going to vaccinate the moose. Um, so everything's okay in that respect. So the rating's gone down. It's still well above the 70 that we need. Animal happiness, 94. Guest happiness, 94. This mountain lion is slowly becoming happy. Um, let's build one of them sign thingies. Uh, put one there. And let's put one here. Oh, come on. Like... Okay, now the moose is happy. Huh. Guess happiness 93. No one really seems to care about this mountain lion. I spent so much money on this mountain lion exhibit, and no one gives a shit. No one gives a crap that I built a mountain lion exhibit. Screw you. Just like... No one's commenting about this mountain lion. Hey, look! It's a mountain lion! Looks upset. Hmm. Maybe wait until it's happier. Come on, mountain lion, become happy! Uh, let's... Hmm. It sounds really harsh, but I could sell the mountain lion and buy another mountain lion, and that one would be really happy. Let's get a female mountain lion. Maybe that'll make it happier. 
Okay, this one's by default happiness 80. And this one's got 46 happiness. Hmm. Zero so rating 84. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Huh. Rather weird. Might need another zookeeper. No, I think we're okay. Guess something is 96, and we'll have this 95. The main reason why that that's only 95 is because this stupid mountain lion won't become happy. It's becoming happier, just not happy. Yeah. Oh well. Two months left. And <laughs> made about six and a half thousand. No. Hang on. Get rid of 2,871. So yeah, made about um, $9,000 last month in terms of profit. Okay, the mountain lion... Uh, he's, he's still unhappy. Slowly becoming happier. I don't care anymore. Like, main goal now is just make this stupid mountain lion happy. This one's happy. Why is the other one not happy? Hmm. Oh well. It really doesn't matter. Because we've won the scenario anyway. Hmm. Huh. You just have, to just have to remember in the future, like, if you're thinking of buying another exhibit in your zoo, um, make sure you're prepared beforehand. Oh, we've actually completed all the animal care stuff. Um, let's go just go staff education. Gives us something to do, kind of. Reindeer very sick. Will someone take care of it? I'm gonna get another zookeeper. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be completely useless because we don't have any bins. We also don't have any trash. But there is things like um, zookeeper and tour guide training, which will obviously help. Zoo rating 86, animal happiness 97. Um, okay, that mountain lion is... That mountain lion is still unhappy. Well, he's, he's happy, he's just... It needs to be happier. I guess in time it'll become happier. And we've got an ill Siberian tiger. So ideally one of the zookeepers will sort that out. Move him over here. Heal the animal. And there we go. I'll be done in three days. Um, 
Apologies if there hasn't really been a lot going on recently in terms of this uh, scenario. It's just simply because, like, <laughs> we actually beat the scenario after three months, so I'm, I'm kind of limited in what I can do to keep it entertaining. I mean, hopefully the Mountain Lion fiasco was somewhat amusing. Uh, hopefully this video hasn't been a complete bore fest. Ah. Zookeeper training. Animals will become happier when a zookeeper enters their exhibits. Um. I mean, it won't have much effect in this scenario, but... Uh. That's always very useful, because, uh... Obviously it increases the animal happiness. Ninety-seven, ninety-six, eighty-six. That's not going to go up anymore. And that mountain lion is now happy. Took ages to get happy, but there's now well, like all the animals are really happy. The zoo is profitable. Um, could build one last final exhibit. Um. Uh, Build something that doesn't require hills, and build something a bit simpler. Um. Hmm. I don't know what, though. Maybe zebras? Zebras are very simple. Let's just build a zebra exhibit. Zebras are really simple, to be honest. Nine by... 11. Do save a bit of money in that respect. Whoops. Only one month left to complete the scenario, but we have already completed it, so that's not a problem. Oh, they don't like stables. Lean 2. There we go. And they just require savannah and fresh water. No dirt, if I remember correctly. And some rocks. Oops. And this uh, tall grass. Like that. More animals of the same type would make them happier. Uh, 87 suitability ratings, so let's try and increase that. Eighty-nine. There's enough rocks in the way, kind of. Go up to ninety-one. It's got up to ninety-four. Let's just keep it like that. And I want more animals of the same type, so let's get another female zebra. And he's complaining about a large amount of foliage. But oh well. Zoo rating eighty-seven. 98 animal happiness, 97 guest happiness. That is a really good zoo, if I'm honest. And still nobody gives a fuck about my mountain lions. Apologies for the language, I do swear a lot, so if you don't like swearing, you're probably on the wrong channel. Um, I don't swear as much as like I could do, but it's only... If you're offended, then get used to it. Um, sorry. Like, I don't... I don't swear deliberately, I only... Kind of do it accidentally. Anyway, um... Zookeeper training 2, able to feed the animals more quickly. That's obviously very useful. Um, we are basically out of money, but that's not an issue. All of our ratings are really high. All of our... Um, 
I mean, the thing is, is like there are scenarios later on that require like 93, 95, zero, like 95 zero rating. I think is the highest I've ever seen. So the only way you do that is just by having like loads of research and loads of exhibits and really happy animals and really happy guests. So obviously, the more exhibits you have, it does actually increase the zoo rating. Of kind of makes sense. Um. We have actually got a pretty big zoo, to be honest. Considering we only really needed three exhibits, we've ended up building... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... We've ended up building 8 exhibits. I think the most I've ever seen for a scenario... Where the goal has been... You need this many exhibits. I think it was about 20. Um. Twenty exhibits is a lot for a zoo, to be honest. Um, although that said, it is easily poss it is easily doable to have a zoo with a huge zoo rating that's very profitable, that has high animal happiness and high guest happiness, and it can easily have like 30, 40 exhibits. It's not impossible. Um, you just have to be careful of, like, animals escaping and animals dying of old age. Anyway, it is... Technically, it's Christmas Eve. So... I don't know... Aha! It is Christmas Day, and Santa Claus has made an appearance. Uh, the reindeer aren't doing anything, they're just sitting around. But Santa's reindeer have actually decided to make an appearance, which is quite nice. Uh, they just basically fly across the map. Like... Because it's Christmas, obviously, they just fly, ar fly around the map. Um, and then disappear when... They get across the map. It's just kind of like a funny feature. do not do anything, it's just there for aesthetic purposes. Zookeeper training 2 now available. Uh, we may as well stop that, because we've basically won the scenario anyway. Uh, let's just save it. I just have interest. This month, if you exclude like construction and everything... I'm just going to pause it. If you exclude construction, animal purchase, and research, uh, that's like th uh, about $12,500. So we made about $4,000 in terms of profit. Not a huge amount, but considering like we're not the biggest zoo in the world, it's, um, it's quite a lot. Well, It's, it's good enough. Anyway. Um, that is the end of that scenario. Uh, we did win. Easily. So, that's the end of this video. That's the end of this scenario. That was Holiday Tree Farm. It is the last Zoo Tycoon beginner scenario. So, uh, the next one will be the Dinosaur Digs beginner scenario, I think. Uh, so that kind of adds a new element to the gameplay, uh, as you'll see in the next video. But for now, thank you for watching this video. Like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.